we go. Fourth and final round here. We got Jack Harris and Jessica Control. Jordan Hudepol. Possibly of Hudepol Light fame. On Mono White Taxes. Oh, and we man. already see a pretty taxing car there. Spirit of the Labyrinth is a 3 1. It's going to apply some pressure on Zach, and it's not going to let him draw any extra cards per turn. I thought I didn't see that uh, he put up the uh, the flavor text on Servants and Key. On which card? We have a bolt on the dry, uh, dry militant and just passing it back. It's actually a draw for turn. So play Flutter Strand and just passes it back. I mean, we'll see if I can find the answer to Spirit in the Labyrinth. It's a pretty big, pretty big hose for Zach. As he plays a backup dry militant, I think Zach is going to counter this with a logic knot. So. How do you get this matchup goes? I mean, Jordan's clearly able to apply some pretty pretty decent pressure early on uh, while attacking Zach. Do you think Zach will eventually just find... I don't see how a creature deck beats chess guy. Just because there's too much removal? There's too much There's too much removal. You have to be... So you were... You, not only, like, is he... You have to be on the play. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. We remember to roll. Yeah, so he actually passed the spirit as a pretty big card with seeing so, visions in I mean, hand. the line that he has to start off with is he needs a... Well, he needs a vial. And he needs lead an arbiter as a way to strip line your opponent. Because mm -hmm. he... Excuse me. He need to keep him off some of his... Uh, he need to keep him off of uh, his three colors. But if he gets the three colors and stabilizes, I just don't see. Yeah. It's a bolt. So Zach already taking care of all the creatures that Jordan's offered so far, and now he's gonna filter some more draw steps. And yeah, I just think Zach is gonna pull way too far ahead here. So apparently, Jordan is relatively new to modern. We had a, he's had a decent night so far. He's two and one. And so, Jen, we'll get some shout-outs to streamers that stream during the day when we're not live. We're always looking for people to host, people to partner with. I uh, watch a lot of Magic streams. Who's your favorite streamer? Probably Caleb. It used to be, it used to be Numat. Uh, Durnwald? Yeah, Durward. And that's because not only is he entertaining when he plays music, mm -hmm. Magic is a inherently boring game. Yeah, I like watching Caleb Shearer stream, but he just doesn't have any music at all going on during it. I can't watch Storm. Maria with all these streams unlimited, just no music again. There was just no... I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of into the Magic the Amateur. I was a little... What was that? It's because I have a little girl across from Maria. Um, Caleb was a big miss. Um, I was really surprised they didn't put Numat on camera more at the Pro Tour. Why would they? Because he's the most popular streamer there is. Actually, I think Kale's more popular now. He's the most popular limited streamer there is. Okay. It, it was got to the point where people kept asking, where's where's Newmont? Where's Newmont? Where's Newmont? Yeah. And they acknowledged him a little bit, and that was it. I don't know. Like, again, there's an appeal to watching LSB and Finkel draft. I, I, the only there's thing I don't agree with is I don't think LSB should, should be in the booth at all anymore. Why not? You either, you either commentate... Or play, or play the you, event. You don't like, you like the double dipping? I don't, I don't like double dipping in the same event. Okay. You could say the same thing when Reed do commentates events, but Reed doesn't play in the events he commentates. True, yeah. It's just, uh, not that LSV doesn't do a good job, but I think it's kind of a slap in the face to the people that show up and their their job is to commentate. Yeah. When you're when you're basically saying that we don't value your, what you're doing enough, so we have to bring in another person mm -hmm. to do it. Why did he not just path... I don't understand. But. You understand the attack and then the whole, what's it called? Um, they should have passed and then attacked. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's something that says make it's actually at 14, by the way. Uh, there's something about, you know, making him block, but I don't think there's any advantage gained with that. There's no advantage whatsoever to see if he blocks. Zach is 100% going to block there if you attack right. Jace. Cool stuff, I think, is probably oh, your best place to trade in cards for store credit. Apparently Zach's at 12. Yeah. So this is where you get to the interesting point against control decks. Uh, of course, Matthew Folks is probably my favorite streamer. Matthew Folks, best standard player, Matthew Folks. I like him, but he's a little too cocky. That's what I love about him. He's cocky. Yeah, but it's to the point where it's like it was a novelty at first. Cool stuff, Inc. And now it's just annoying. He gave me twelve one the other day with uh, Esper Control. I also can't watch that much standard. 
The Healy does standard. Yeah. Thank you. We'll Z for the follow. We'll see. We'll see. Appreciate the follow there. We'll say. We'll see. We'll say. The big W. I had a cell phone once. Um, yeah, so definitely Caleb. I actually look forward to his stream. I don't mind Jeff Lugan's stream, although I don't agree with a lot of his opinions. But And I certainly don't agree with not playing music, and I do not think it's theft whatsoever. Who was your least favorite streamer? You. It's Ben Weinberg. He just started, he streamed like once last weekend. How do you view Billy Camino as a streamer? I liked when Billy streamed, but he's way too lazy to do it now. <laughs> he's been quote unquote setting up his office for like the last year and a half. Do you think I'd be a decent streamer? Not going with just a decent one. I, I don't know. Like, there are a lot of bad magic players that stream. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Well, I have some accomplishments. I don't care about your accomplishments. I care that you're entertaining. And you're not and you're not absolutely miserable. As long as you're not I absolutely think, positively miserable and you're entertaining, I can watch you. I think I can do that. But do it's, not be do not be extremely, extremely, extremely opinionated. I don't have the clout for that. So I don't understand. If he was going to flat uh, obviously he's new, but if he was going to pass last turn, no matter what, then he should have pat he should have flashed in. If he was going to flash in the Avon Wine Sensor, he should have flashed in, then passed. Just, yeah. Just saying. Wait, is this what you really giving 50% bonus on store credit? It's a Flicker Wisp to play. Is that a Flicker Wisp? I don't remember I Star City Pass, but I'll pull up my phone. If they're offering like that much money percent bonus in trading, I don't then, do yeah. Star I, I did it for years and years and years, and I finally let my, my uh, Star City left. You know who I don't mind streaming is Cedric when Cedric used to stream. But again, that was because of music choice. He was a streamer. He just has so many jobs now. Yeah. So. And I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind Todd Stevens, but I, there's only so much green white I can watch. Yeah, Todd plays his decks, and that's pretty much it. Um. Like, uh, why Jeff Hoogan is outside of Jeff's, Jeff's opinions that I some I don't agree with. Uh, he just plays a variety of decks because he. He uses a lot of donation decks. Are he's like a, he's a professional shill and embraces it. <laughs> he also streams at an hour that not many people stream, which is good for him. Benefits yeah. very beneficial for him. What about Saffron Olive? Uh, I can watch him once in a while, but I don't know if he mispronounces and does that voice on purpose. But uh, he kills me sometimes. <laughs> Not that it matters, but Jordan needs to make sure in the future to separate his exiled. That is, yeah. Is this settled exiled or is the rest of his exiled? Yeah, I can't stand the voice either. The saffron olive yeah. voice. I used to like Paul Chian a lot. Then I felt he kind of got kind of elitist. Get him a jump at wizards. I mean, he got a job at wizards without streaming. True. Zach in full control of this game. Uh, here's the land arbiter that Jordan's going to try to resolve. But... I think actually my Caleb's actually my favorite streamer out of all the things, and I watch an awful lot of games. I like some of the smaller Nintendo streamers that do uh, that do Agent Q, SGDQ. Not shocked. If anyone does not owe Adam Olds, that that statement is not surprising. In the least bit. I like video games. Um, I want to start streaming where I play really hard games, and every time I die, I have to take a drink of something. You die real quick. What? Right. That doesn't work out well for people ever. <laughs> I think I want to debut with uh, I want to be the guy. Not I want to be the boshy. What's I want to be the boshy? It's a little of this the exact same style of game. Is it just as miserable to play? Yeah, it's, it's really hard, too. Is it harder or less hard? Um, I think a boss is harder. I do want to drink. I don't play, like, drunk drunk. Uh, again, nothing really happening in this game. It's a vial, not a subtle record. Here comes a, a drunk display. But yeah, nothing really happened in this game. Zag is just in control. He has an act flipped as content. But he's playing Jace, which is worse than Teferi. Mm. If he had Teferi, he could get two as activations a turn. 
Have I played the world's hardest game? Is that one of the joke games? Uh, so you can, you can do one of two things. You can... Um, Death by Dark Souls. Which Dark Souls, though? You can know, mail the cards in. They'll... Make the cards back. You just go to uh, an SCG open and just do it on site. Uh, I don't like... Dark Souls feels more cheap than hard sometimes. It's actually... I actually find it the right amount of frustrating. Because you do... As long as you pay attention and recognize it's all pattern-based. And you actually know how to uh, repost and, and block. Yeah, but I'm trying to play... Um, this is dumb. That's play through one. And what's the stupid demon? The Capra demon? Oh, one? I, I haven't played one. I'm I doing everything play. right. I just... I keep dying. But compared to... But you get... You, you progress, though, is the point. It's yeah, not, it's not so yeah. hard like older games that you don't progress ever. Uh, I just, I just, whenever I play Dark Souls, I'm like, why am I not just playing Ninja Gaiden Black? Like, go play like, what's like a really, like there's there's lots of lots of lots of like old Nintendo games that are just miserable to play and really really hard. Um, our streamer is showing us a game that looks a lot like Cloudberry Kingdom, which is just this memorize is not, memorize the pattern. This is not a hard game. No, this is just memorize the pattern. What is so hard about this? There's nothing hard about this. Oh, you have to get those? Who cares? There's nothing hard about it, though. You're just memorizing the pattern. This is just a bad rhythm game. Yeah. Bad rhythm game. Meanwhile, Zach getting some value off this is Kanta. Looking through his cards, picking up the right answers that he needs. Uh, let's get this rhythm game off our computer, please. No, it's fine. No, it's not. Thank you. It's fine. Um, MU M Sewer five hundred eight saying Jason is very angry. Uh, Zach loves his Jace. He loves it a lot. He's mentioned he does not like the current state of Jeskai control compared to Grexis, but I think he's recognized that Jeskai is just flat out better currently. Uh, but he just loves his Jace. That's why he's playing Jace with the fairy. He's looking to pick up the fairies, though. I know that. Um, any spicy bros? We saw hardened scales last year on camera. We did. Hardest against health. small pox. Against pox. Black, white pox. Uh, so check out the YouTube page for that stake, Jones. YouTube.com slash Dropback Productions. Round one, we saw uh, some unique takes on blue, white control and red, green of Drazitron. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of storm in the room tonight, which is a little surprising. Oh, gross. There's three storm players here. Jake, you want to be miserable? Play some mods of older of games. Like random, randomized things. Dragon do Quest 1 randomized is funny. Do I really miss playing? What? Uh, some good old original Counter Strike gun game. I don't like FPSs. Of course you don't. If I love Binding of Isaac, I have it on like three different things. Binding of Isaac is one of many games I still need to play, but instead I'm replaying Fable One and playing Mario Kart on my Switch. You need, you need to play Binding of Isaac. Probably. You also need to play like Enter the Gungeon. That's sweet. So Zach doing the Fate Seal, which is I feel like the secret unknown mode on Jace that many people don't know about because they're so excited the brainstorm now. Like they got the brainstorm mind, and it's great. But Jordan has no cards in hand. There's no reason for Zach to never Fate Seal again with his content, and now all these idiots in the right. battlefield. Well, we saw we saw the opposite, right? We saw in Mark Amaker's on Mark Amaker's match round one where his opponent was just fate sealing and not brainstorming. I feel like there's a happy medium. I feel like I want to get card advantage. Yeah. And I want to get to the point where I know I'm going to win, even though it's not deterministic. Yeah, but like at the time, Mark had cards in hand, so he didn't really need a fate seal. He just kept doing it anyway. It just happened to win because of it. Here, Actually, Jordan I is... I don't agree with the line he took. Here, here, this game, Jordan has no cards in hand. Yeah, yeah. While. There's nothing Jordan can do here. There's been times people have their opponent have no card in hand. They don't fate seal. Lo and behold, their opponent draws the card they need. So much for that. Here, Zach has to complete control. He doesn't need to brainstorm because he has Kanta. This is just... Yeah, this is just... Zach came out of control. His opponent's draw steps and find the cards he needs with his Kanta. No surprise there. Zach gets game one. Too much removal for the early pressure from Jordan. And Zach able to turn the corner even without... All right, so to what, ferry the superior plays Walker and Modern. Game. Love gun game source, yes. I feel like this game has been over for eight turns. Welcome to control decks. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of times in the standard with blue light control to where the game is over, but the player hasn't won yet. Did we did we never play against uh, the Ensnaring Bridge deck? The uh, Lantern? Lantern control, where if they have a Lantern and, and two mill rocks, you're not going to win. Yeah, certain decks have ways to get out of it, but most of the time, 99% of the time. No, because you have to hit runner, 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 yeah. runner. Like, 
It's not. It's not mathematically impossible. It's very improbable. Extremely, extremely improbable. But as Han Solo once said, "Never tell me the odds." Oh, is that from the movie The Bombed and the Losing Money? Is that from what? How do you feel about how do you feel about solo bombing? What's solo bombing? The movie Han. The, the I haven't movie. seen it yet. It's bombing. It's going to lose like fifty million. I know how it ends, which just makes me very upset, and yet it made me want to see it more. Look, all I care about is that somebody bought Power Rangers. Did Disney buy Power Rangers? I want more Power Rangers movies. I need to see a Green Ranger. There's there's speculation that Green Ranger is a, is a female character. Hasbro owns Hasbro Power Rangers, owns Power Rangers and they plan on making more movies. What we so do, oh, my, for I got next Hascon, you can draft Power Ranger Masters. I got it. Let's get rid of Magic and let's make a Power Rangers card game. <laughs> You should never, ever, 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 ever love that a movie of a clout like that is bombing. Why? They're literally milking the cow beyond death. And the the problem is these big budget movies are they need to stop be, they need to stop doing this right because there is all these all these amazing amazing like solo or smaller projects just get dwarfed. By these gigantic big, big budget movies, like it should take five years to get another Avengers movie. Like it should take five years to get a, to get a sequel to a movie. We shouldn't have to pay the actors hundreds of millions of dollars to get a movie. Like at, at what point is enough? I'm I, I'm actually glad these movies are bombing. Or some of these movies bomb. Why would you want Kathleen Kennedy to be hired? And this might start a pretty big rant. Wait, what? From me, uh, someone said um, they hope Kathleen Kennedy gets hired. Who is that? Uh, like the creative director of Luke, like the current like head hot show at Lucasfilm, I believe. Hired to where? Fired. Oh, fired. Yeah. Uh, I just don't like Why? the. Why? How does how does that how does that benefit anything? I just who cares? Feel like if you're rooting for someone to get fired, you're rooting for the wrong things. But I also hope Harvey Weinstein goes to prison for longer than his entire life and his kid's life and. But. Man, this white deck is just miserable sometimes, I feel like. Look, all I know is... So... Give me the next Mega Man game. Uh, Malicious, what would you think of The Last Jedi? Because I'm pretty I sure I know great. what you're going to say. And I, too, think it was great. And there's a line in there... From Kylo Ren that I think people need to listen to more. Oh, about... This. What? You quoted this earlier, didn't Yeah. You? Forget about the past. Let it die. The entire theme... And the last Jedi was screw the past. The well, past is irrelevant. So first of all, I love reading books, and I've always been disappointed by the movie ad adaptations of books. But I still take it with a grain of salt because it's a different medium. Mm -hmm. Secondly, nothing's ever going to live up to your expectations in a movie series. No, my biggest complaint, not to mention books, is that um, Laura Dern's character, all her backstory was in the novels. Yeah. Oh, she's the uh, she's the, uh, the cat that takes over. For, yeah, uh, yeah. She ended up being a badass. Like, yeah, I'm like you I'm didn't know that if you didn't read the book, though. Yeah. But yeah, she ended up being a badass in the movie. But the pro the problem the problem is it's never going to live up to what anybody thinks. But that's the point. The point of Last Jedi is the past is irrelevant. So of course throws out everything in the Force Awakens. Be, I, I just want to be entertained. Of course it gets rid of. We don't know how the trilogy ends though. So we can't. We can't reflect the entire trilogy because we also, don't know how it ends. Also, we're forgetting there's like you know over a decade. How many years of books and novels are there in that in that in that? Yes, the answer to that tons, question is yes. There's tons, but like, tons and tons of novels. The movie Google. is ultimately about <laughs> Google Star Wars. Like it goes into like Luke and Leia's children. The, and, so like the sequel trilogy is ultimately about uh, the struggle of Kylo Ren and Rey a, to a, find themselves. Kylo Ren has found himself. Ray has not yet. She was looking for the past. She realizes, uh, my I only thing is, my only thing is, Ray's too powerful. Yeah, she's too powerful. Like Luke, Luke, and even Darth Vader, Darth Sidious, they never did anything like that. Like, like Yoda was pretty cool, but they still never, they still never like just made all the rocks like levitate like that yeah. with no practice. 
uh, too by the way, uh, surprise, surprise, Zach is controlling the board city here, so nothing surprising there. But my one of my biggest things that I tried to explain to wait, people wait, is wait, that... Circle back. Um, wait, circle back. Let it come for a second. was like, what about Snoke? I'm like, you mean Supreme Leader MacGuffin? This is not... Oh, Snoke, as, for those who don't know, a MacGuffin is a plot device or a character or like an item in the movie whose only purpose is to move the story forward. Uh, if you ever watch... He was a worthless character. Yeah. There's an old movie uh, called The Maltese Falcon or Huffing Bogart where they're all... Everyone's obsessing about this item called the Maltese Falcon. Yeah. It is completely irrelevant to the entire story at hand. Its sole purpose is to move the story forward, which is what Snoke was. He is Supreme Leader MacGuffin. Completely pointless, yeah. I, I agree. No backstory, no real reason for his character to exist. Why is Kylo Ren ever subservient to him is beyond me. Like, Because he had to find him. My guess is he had to still find himself and find... I do not know about this. Um, don't know a better way to explain this. I mean, just he had to find the power within himself because he's still thanks a, for watching Adam and Jake rant about movies. He's still a young kid, so he no, still no, has no. to find. I don't know. If we're ranting up about video games. You got me. I, didn't I think Cux. I think Cux needs to have a bigger role in the third. I was very upset that Fazbear didn't have a I big like role. I like Cux. Yeah, I like him. Also, who's the uh, who's the pilot? Uh, Finn. I, I, no, no, no. Not John Boyega's character, the other guy. Uh, Poe Dameron? I hate Poe Dameron. What do you ever do to you? He's such a cliche. Everybody loves him. He's 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 the worst soldier in history. Everybody loves him, and he gets away with whatever he wants because he's good looking. He's a worthless character. Speaking he, of, he just gets people killed. Did you ever see Annihilation? No. It's a really messed More up. Combat movie. Annihilation? No, no. With Oscar uh, Isaac and uh, Natalie Portman. I do love you some Natalie Portman, though. You're breaking my heart. Is there a... My heart is... <laughs> I, have, I have the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd argue we really care what happens in the third movie, because... Was Snoke Jar Jar Banks? No. Are you sure? How do you know? I'm pretty sure. So, I just realized Zach is missing land drops. And the same armor. Oh, he found a fourth land. We're good now. Never mind. He could also just fix his mana at any time he wants. And not quite, because the armor doesn't play. Oh. Does he have a path, though? He also has cryptic unlocked. Please don't mess this up. Please. Oh, yes. He also has electrolyze. First of all, that purple hair lady is Laura Dern. We do not talk bad about Laura Dern. And I'm so, I, I explained it earlier. Um, Holo's backstory is all in the books. If you read the books, or at least look at the books and look at her backstory, everything she does makes sense. So as a new top deck feature, what we're going to do is we're going to have Jake, instead of ranting for an hour and a half, he's just going to read selected passages from Star Wars novels that may or may not be canon, depending on the day of the week of the month. I will, I will um, submit that, yeah, the casino plot was useless other than the fact that I, I had to start earlier in my mind waiting for someone to get at me about it. They never did earlier on it's Facebook. Like, it's kind of like the entire plot of Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. Completely pointless. I, it's like, I enjoyed the movie, but at the same time, I'm like, eh. eh. It was pointless. The entire movie is pointless. <laughs> they spent way too much time. Way, made way too much time. And then Ego. Ego's just the man. Kurt Russell's character is the manifestation. Mm -hmm. of Ego. He's a giant planet. Also, why did they change Star-Lord's father? What do you mean they just changed? From, from the comics, you mean? Yeah. Just... I don't know. Why did they get rid of the squid in the Watchmen movie? There's a squid? You never read the Watchmen books? No. Have you seen the movie? Yeah. Uh, instead of uh, the nukes, it's a giant space squid. That would have been so much better. <laughs> <laughs> Is a dry Milton from Zach, uh, from uh, Jordan, who Zach is still taking little pains with this arbiter. I like how he's being patient and just you know biding his time. He doesn't need to do anything with the arbiter just yet. Well, he needs to do this with all the stacks, so is it is sorcery or instant? Yes. He says, "I like to try to path this Leon arbiter, and that will resolve." She gets the epic death instead of. Akbar. Um, I already have the casino plot um, shows that it's a trap. Rose and Finn it's are a um, It's a trap. I guess idiots. It's a trap. For the lack of a better term. 
Rose's character was very interesting. Yes. But at the end of the day, like, anyone... I also hate Finn's character. I think anyone not named Holo, Holden, whatever her Larner's name was, or Leia in that movie are just idiots. They're inexperienced idiots. Even purple hair? No. Holden, Holdo, Laura Dern. I think I think all the characters stink. Also, it is bogus that Lauren Durden is not getting any nominations or anything so far for Twin Peaks because she was. I think all the characters actually sucked in the Last Jedi, <laughs> except for except for Leia. And, and like, I, I kind of like Luke. He kind of had uh, a path to old Luke. Path is not exiled because he played it with uh, hit on the stack, dry melt on the stack. Yes. Did he path melt it though? No, he he electrized the melted. Okay. But, like, the biggest thing is when people said Force Awakens is just the carbon copy of the first one. It's not different enough. And the next one is, well, it's too different. It's not the same. It's not Star Wars. I don't know. I don't know. I like them. Don't at me. Zach is going to activate Field of Ruin in response to Aven Mind Sensor coming into play. Smart move by Zach, realizing that, hey, I want to search my entire deck instead of just the top four cards. That's okay. We, are, we entered the actually phase. Did he change his main? Yeah, he changed the uh, ghost quarter instead. He chose the ghost That's fine. He didn't, he didn't search yet. But maybe we need... No, no, first of all, the prequels are anti-Star Wars. <laughs> what we need to do is we need to make remake old fantastic movies and do horrible, horrible new movies. But again, the entire purpose of The Last Jedi is forget about the past. Kill it if you have to. <laughs> like, yes, yes one violence. You're adding me. <laughs> I just said don't at me. That's why. Nice. Don't at me. Come at me, guys. <laughs> I, I, I ain't this. Who wants to talk about movies? <laughs> our stream editor is saying that our Guardians of the Galaxy is just more fun. Not. No, it's not. Not anymore. There's not no since. Fun. Not since Avengers. You can't have fun anymore. You just have Star Lord messing everything up. We should make an all-male version of A League of Their Own. I think that'd be fantastic. Let's, let's ruin more old movies. I'm actually looking forward to Ocean's 8. Why? Because I like the Ocean movies a lot. It has nothing to do with the female cast whatsoever. It just has to do with why remake something that was good already. Money. You know what? Let's remake the original Super Mario Brothers movie. Because you literally in. can't do worse. In. <laughs> you literally can't do worse. Also, we could remake Gremlins 2. That movie's awesome. Uh, there's not enough originality movies. Case in point, how much did Annihilation make? As long as I get a new Power Rangers movie, I'm good. Give me another one. Oh, yeah, with Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah. The new one. Uh, you see they're making Twins 3, or uh, Twins 2. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, where there's a third brother. Yeah, this is why you don't you see so many sequels. Annihilation, which is a great, original, unique movie, made $42 million of a budget of about $55 million. That's why you don't see... So their budget was almost as enough as what... Solo is going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a movie with Dally Portman, Jennifer Jason Lee, Oscar Isaac. Wasn't Benedict Wong one of the guys in Law and Order? No, isn't no. He, he's in Doctor Strange, right? He's in Marco Polo. Doctor yeah, Doctor Strange. Strange. He's in Doctor Strange, yeah. But still, two A list celebrities, and uh, I call Jennifer Jason Lee A list ish. Man, Fast Times at High is a great movie. What movie? Fast Times at Richmond High. Let's remake it. Let's remake Teen Wolf. <laughs> Tell you what, though, should we remake Super Mario? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <obviously. laughs> oh, hi, Mark. I hi. did not jump on the Goomba. I did not do it. I did, did not. not. Oh, hi, Luigi. <laughs> hi, Luigi. Hey, how's the sex life of Daisy? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see Disaster? Did you ever see Disaster Artist? I want to. I love it with Mark Larson. It was I still don't fantastic. Think he does. Every time you say, "Oh hi, Mark," he doesn't get that reference. Uh -uh. Oh, that's so disappointing. Oh hi, Mark. In, all, you... in all honesty, like that's like the most innocuous things become funny, like from Super Troopers. I still haven't seen the cream? second one yet. What's cream? Okay, no cream. I didn't like that joke. 
It's never not liked funny. that joke. So the thing about all those movies, the lizard, whatever, broken lizard movies, yeah. is they're only funny like the 15th or 16th time you see them. I don't think Slammin' Salmon is ever going to be funny. I've never seen that. It's terrible. Have you seen Club Dread is barely And Mark funny. Larson, he gets it. He doesn't get it. <laughs> Oh, hi, um, Mark. Have you seen the video of like the shot for shot comparison between disaster artist in the room? <laughs> Great. <laughs> Stick on. What else should a remake that be terrible? Huh. How about how about the Shawshank Redemption? How about Silence of the Hams? That's guaranteed that's been done as a porno. <laughs> no, Silence of the Hams is like the spoof. Let's do let's do a live action Charlotte's Web. <laughs> What about... How about we make Scary Movie? Scary Movie? Yeah. Doesn't that already exist? Uh, Gigantic Attack there, yeah. So anyway, surprise, surprise. Zach wins this match. Three games to one. Just too much removal. Too much controlling. Our stream and monkey for the night says Markler only gets it because we explained it at nauseum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jake. Go ahead. Do your, do your, do your, do your exit. You've got on a rant. It, Feel free to stick around. There's 18 minutes left in the round. I'm going to go, but Jake will gladly stay here and rant more. No, I won't. Cannon. I'm done about ranting. I want to go home. If you guys would like any recommendations on horrible I food, I want to go hot dog sushi. Speaking of really horrible bad. food. Okay, go ahead. For those that don't know, okay. um, Cincinnati has its own version of chili. It's disgusting. It's delicious. It's disgusting. You put it on top of spaghetti and add a megaton get it. of cheese. It is amazing. It's better when you're drunk, but it's really good. I'm going to go home. I'm going to burn some hot dogs, some, some spaghetti, and make some Skyline. How do you feel about Gold Star? Gold Star is... Their little like Dorito burrito thing is good. Sure. The chili's terrible. Um, I think that Skyline has the best three-way. That they really call three-ways. Around Mother's Day, you see the signs that say, Get your mama three-way. Yeah, I, mean, I think Dixie Chili in Newport has the best uh, conies. I think Skyland Chili is a sin against mankind. And it's not chili, it's chocolate flavored meat paste <laughs> with stale cheese and mustard. And if you don't have if you don't have beans in your chili, you are un-American. You can get the four-way of beans. It's not the same. What's with the stale cheese? I get the hot sauce, right? The stale cheese is like three times as much as cheese in gro other cheese in a grocery store, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody has a problem with it, I will fight you. Oh, by the way, um, there's not just one one restaurant that has local Cincinnati chili. There's like a million. There's Skyline. There's Gold Star. They're there's Empress. There's Dixie. There's Pleasant Ridge. There's Price Hill. There's Camp Washington. They're everywhere. I like less chili. This is, a, this is blue ass chili, yeah. That's just because the uh, the king of flavor was there. Uh, Big Richard, you are wrong. It is not canned cat food. It is delicious. I agree. It is wonderful. It is low grade canned cat food. You are very. I'd rather wrong. eat dolphin tuna. Did you see the big news about food? By the way, the big news. The big news. What what is it about uh, food in general? Speaking of big news, have you tried the new McDonald's quarter pounder yet? No, I'm a, I'm a, it, I live the nug life. It is really good. I live the nug life. It is really good. The nug life. But the big news is that, an end? Is that Columbus, Ohio, which is oh, already the best yeah, place, check. Nobody, the, we're already the best place to eat food if you do the SUG circuit, bar none, is getting a Shake Shack. Yeah, I, don't, I don't care. I still don't think it's top five. <laughs> I still don't think it's top five places to eat in Columbus, though. All right, give me your top five, and then, I, and then I'm leaving. Am I, I drunk or sober? Mildly inebriated. Uh, Dirty Franks. Okay. Uh, Melt. Okay. Late Night Slice. I don't know. Okay. Um, Los Guachos. Okay. Wait, no, no. No. Dirty Franks. No Melt. So Dirty Franks. Okay. Um, Momo Gar. Okay. Um, Philco. Okay. Then uh, Late Night Slice and Los Guachos. All right. Give me top three donuts in the Cincinnati area. Go. Duck Donuts. And? Where's Hol Holtman's? Isn't up there? Holtman's. Yeah. Can you even name a third? Um. Have you had Buckeye Donuts in Columbus? Yes. Do you think they're better or worse than those other two? I think they're worse than Duck. But better than Holtman's. Why? <laughs> just because. Jake. <laughs> I prefer no beans. 
So the problem with Jack in the Box here is that someone took that. over the franchise, I want and they're not back. open at midnight, which is complete. No, you I do not get your RTC because they have Hawaiian Punch now. I want the and it's a game changer. Machine to work. <laughs> <laughs> I, want machine to work. I, want I went to get Stephanie a McFlurry, yeah. and this stream machine was broken, so I drove <laughs> ten miles out of my way to get her McFlurry at like one in the morning. Oh, what a keeper. I am. I am the greatest. No. No, 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 no. Dunks is not garbage. I am from Boston. That is an insult to me, Stephen Christ. You are wrong. <laughs> you are very wrong. Dunks is amazing. You get your sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, your chocolate or vanilla frosted donut, and your hot chocolate, and you're good to go. All right, can we get a poll in chat? Is Jake going to live to 40? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Zero. Zero chance. What would your top five places in Columbus be to eat? Oh, by the way, uh, don't go to 16-bit in Columbus. Go to Old North Arcade. Uh, McDonald's. Arby's. Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's this place called Nancy's. Malicious is right. Death taxes. The McDonald's ice cream machine being broken. Right. <laughs> Only three things that are, that, are, that are normal in life. No, there used to be this place called Nancy's that was really good. Um... It was like country style, so it only served like one thing and a line that we used to eat on college all the time. I like all the college dumps that like, there's a pizza place called like Cat, Catfish Biffs that I used to really love when I was in college. Uh, they have a Canados here now in Cincinnati, I need to go there. Um, I still think Los Guachos is... Los Guachos is so... requires at least two distinct options. Los Guachos is so <laughs> good though. Alright, I give up. Also, down here, La Haiba is really goddamn good. All right, I'll be back Thursday. Get back Thursday. I'll be playing Standard Wednesday. If you want to see me play Blue White Control with no wood conditions, you're in luck. Poorly. I'll probably get, play against Tapperlings, though. And let I us, can't, let, let I can't beat that deck. Let us know the feedback. If you'd like to see Jake stream, I want to be the boss here. I want to be the guy yeah. and take a shot every time he Also, you have a thousand. Also, if you want to see the Jake Valentine foodie tour, let us know, too, because I would love the live blog of that stuff. Dying before... That, you're, are you 30 yet? I'm 31. I'm so glad he made it to 30. The eagle is job. indeed fantastic. The eagle's um, good. Here's a hot take. You ready for this? Yeah. yeah. Bakersfield sucks. I don't know what that is. It's a taco place. Um, Django's in Northside is better than the eagle. Yeah, you got me. Um, the Sacred Beast just opened an OTR and is... Dear Lord, like amazing. I Hoppa in OTR. Quan Hoppa, too. Oh, my what's God. The, what's the barbecue place a couple doors down? Pontiac? Right? Yeah, the Pontiac. That place is that um, gas. And I once saw, like, five people enter Quan Hoppa. All they did was drink water, watch an anime, and left. I love it. I love no, it. it was terrible. I love it. I love the show anime. It just, I can't have... Big, it just... Jangles is so much better. Someone please write out these local places. All right, Jake's going to spend it. So here's the deal. Yeah, all right, I'm, I'm going to start doing the Jake Valentine foodie door. You can follow me on Twitter at hopeless, no, H-O-P-3-L-E-S-S. -E so, and know check how, us out Tuesday nights. So we'll give you updates. You know how Webster used to do his articles for Channel Fireball about food? Just do them on the Top Deck site. I will absolutely do that. Look out for food videos, food articles, food tweets. There you he's go. Gonna, he's also going to write Omega Phoenix with a follow. Thank you. Jake's also going to take, uh, he's going to keep a log of how much he weighs every week. To see actually how bad his diet is. I'm going to lose weight. Just watch. And he's also going to let you know his bank account to know how much money he spews on the food every I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to lose weight. I'm a real boy. I, know, I spewed 300 bucks at dinner one night in Chicago. Did you? It was at a place called Girl and the Goat. Um, a lot of girly drinks? I think I had like a whiskey something. Yeah. I ate pig face that night. Pig face? Was it good? <laughs> it was so goddamn good. I'll eat anything but snake. I it was snake. so... had some duck tongue... Duck tongue. Oh, it was so good. Mm. 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 Um, I don't know. Say I need magnifique. to check. I need to check the Sierra Bar is downtown. Um, but yeah, let us know if, if you want right, to I'm see any business certain Jake places in Cincinnati. Just let me know. Day. Again, follow Jake me on Twitter at Hopeless H O P three L E S S. And we'll you don't do want to some. Follow my Twitter. I just complain about Magic Online. But I didn't know you have a Twitter. <laughs> I just complain about Magic Online. <laughs> but yeah, let us know, and uh, I'll do some food places and updates next week. Tomorrow night is standard. Thursday in front of the modern. Check us out for that. Take it easy, everybody. Good night. I think you probably want to do that.